Hey there, welcome to Beyond Numbers. I'm Rasha, your go-to senior data analyst, and today we're taking your tech resume to the next level. In the tech world, showcasing your projects is crucial. They demonstrate your skills and creativity. Want to stand out? I'll show you how to seamlessly integrate a sleek QR code or a direct website link into your resume to highlight these projects. And guess what? It's completely free and you don't even need your own website to do it. Whether you're a fan of QR codes or prefer a straightforward hyperlink, I've got tips for everyone. Let's dive right in and give your resume that little extra edge. A QR code or quick response code is a type of barcode that stores information as a series of pixel in a square shaped grid. By scanning it with your smartphone, you can quickly access website apps or profiles. Adding a QR code to your resume lets potential employers instantly access your professional portfolio, detailed project or contact information. It not only shows that you're a tech savvy, but also makes your application interactive and engaging. Let's create a QR code together. First, choose a QR code generator. There are many free options available online, and I personally use TinyQR, which I'll link in the description below. For designing the QR code, I use Canva to customize its appearance to match my resume style. I'll be screen recording this part to show you exactly how I blend design elements using Canva. I feel my exp explanation weren't well because I did film it uh, looking at the camera and not looking at the screen. So I am going to be looking at the screen and going step by step with you guys. So first, you're going to go into your Google Drive. You're going to create a new folder. Call, call it QR portfolio, QR menu, whatever. This new folder, that's where you're going to drop your resume and any other project. So make sure you drop it and make sure it's all in PDF. So for here, I'm just grabbing my resume. Perfect. Now that's my resume is here. I'm just going to take it and share it. Make sure it's set to viewers and then I'll, I'll um, copy that link. So anyone with the link is a viewer and then I'll go to Canva and make sure I link on the right button. So for English resume, I copy paste the link from the Google Drive and I make sure it's there. If you want to remove the underline, just click Control U on the text and that will remove the underline. And then once all the buttons are linked to the, uh, the links, then I can download it. Make sure to download it as a PDF standard. And then you're going to go back to that folder that you created in your Google Drive. We're using Google Drive because it's free. And when you drop it, then do the same thing. Set to viewers and anyone with the link. And then you're going to paste that in the tinyurl.net. And here you are, you have it. And just make sure on your resume to also add the link on the QR so the recruiter can either click or scan. So if they print it, they can scan and access your portfolio. But if it's not printed, they can uh, simply click on the QR and access your website. If you prefer not to use a QR code, adding a direct link is equally effective. Just below where you might place the QR code on your resume, add a small readable URL that directs to the same web page. Place this link on your resume where it's easily visible but not intrusive. This method ensures that everyone, regardless of their tech preference, can access your additional information without needing any specific apps or tools. Remember, placement is crucial. Position your QR code in the header or sidebar where it's easily visible but not too obstructive. Test the code to make sure it works and ensure your link content is professional and up to date. For hyperlinks, especially those from Google Drive, which can be lengthy, I recommend using a URL shortener like bit.li or tiny URL. This makes the link short but clear and more importantly, manageable and aesthetically pleasing on your resume. Simply paste your long Google Drive link into the URL shortener. Customize it if the service allows it and use the shorter version on your resume. This steps ensure that the link doesn't clutter your document and remains accessible to all. Make sure the shortener URL is readable and reflects a professional image. Always test your hyperlink to ensure directs it directs correctly to your intent content. Now let's compare two versions of my resume to see the difference this addition can make. First, you'll see my old resume, which honestly didn't give me any interviews. It's pretty plain and doesn't make use of the technology that could set it apart. Now, check out my innovative resume that secured multiple interviews. 
I incorporated a QR code and a clickable hyperlink, adding a layer of interactivity and modernity. These innov innovative elements not only enhance the visual appeal, but also demonstrate my understanding and application of current digital tools, positioning me as a forward-thinking candidate. The addition of these features transform my resume into a dynamic tool that immediately communicates my technical capabilities and creative approach to potential employers. That said, adding a simple QR code or a link can really elevate your tech resume. If you found this tutorial helpful, please like, subscribe to Beyond Numbers and share this video with others. For a closer look, I've linked my own resume in some of my QR menu template below in the description. Feel free to download and use them as guide for your own resume enhancement. Have any questions or want to see more content like this? Leave a comment below. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to check out our other videos for more tips on taking your tech career to the next level. See you next time.